I used to fear failure and I realized that that's just a part of the process. If you're not okay with failing, if you're not okay with messing up, if you're not okay with being a rough draft, having a rough draft, then don't even bother desiring something because that's a part of the process of getting it. You can't skip the rough draft. You can't skip the process of becoming great. You can't think your way through beginning phases. You need to take action. You need to do it messy. You need to embrace failure. Because if you don't, the biggest failure of them all, the biggest way to fail is simply just not trying because you're scared of what will happen if you try, of not getting the first try. None of us do. It's okay. And anyone who tells you it's not, they're just projecting. They're projecting how they feel about failure. They're projecting how they would have given up by now how they don't believe in themselves enough to do what you're doing, to dream the way you're dreaming. And that has nothing to do with you. Happy people don't feel the need to criticize those who step outside of the box. People who are truly happy within their lives will encourage you to find what works for you, to find what makes you happy. They're not going to shrink you and tell you to fit some societal norm that they chose to do. If they're happy within themselves, they'll support you on your journey to happiness. But unfortunately, misery loves company, and a lot of people aren't willing to admit that they're miserable. Instead, they look at people making an effort to not be miserable and criticize them. Because to you stepping outside of the box and prioritizing your happiness, it highlights how they didn't. And that's not your problem. If anything, it's the solution. It inspires those who are meant to do what they feel called to do to seeing other people do it too. So... Keep that in mind <laughs> whenever someone's trying to push you into a direction that doesn't fit your path. If you're fearful of failing in front of people, you're doing that so many times and eventually succeeding, that will inspire so much more than getting it right away, which again, doesn't happen in most cases. And when it does, it backfires for most people because it's very overwhelming to grow extremely fast. It doesn't give you time to process. I mean, look at Chappelle Rowan. She is an amazing singer and... She skyrocketed pretty fast, and I felt the pain that she was going through on that stage as she cried about how it's just really new to her. It's overwhelming. Imagine one day not getting clients, and then the next day you have 30 people signing up to work with you. You're going to have to, like, rearrange your whole life last minute, and then you've got, like, all these PR emails. You've got all these people trying to reach out to you. You're getting all these packages. All of a sudden, you're getting all these comments. It takes a lot from your energetic bank when it's given to SAS. Through failure, you're actually given the opportunity to prepare for success. Because as you're failing forward, you'll learn the things that you need to set up in order for success not to overwhelm you. When I went viral on YouTube for the first time, I was really overwhelmed with the comments. It was a lot of guys saying a lot of nasty things. And it was like really annoying because I was in the middle of a vacation as I was going viral. And once it dialed down, I was actually happy that it dialed down because it gave me a moment to step back and think, you know, what's next? What do I want to do next? Where do I want to take my content next? If it continued to skyrocket, I don't know what I would have done. I prefer slowly cooking versus fast cooking. I mentioned this in my Winters for Rest YouTube video. I've come to this realization through not getting success so fast that it's a blessing because you can revise, you can edit, you can pivot you can really think through where you want to take yourself because it's through the journey it's through the action of doing it you learn how to tweak it to where it's aligned with you sometimes the way you're starting things out if you were to get success that way it would literally make you miserable 